What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As y'all can tell by the title, we had to, had to, had to do a 2022 gun collection video. In my last video, y'all went nuts with it. So make sure y'all run this video up too. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications so you can be notified every time I drop a new banger. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into it, man. I don't wanna make this video too long. All right, so let's go ahead and start with, uh, y'all don't get a lot of pistols today. All right, so the first one is the Springfield Hellcat. Chambered in nine millimeter. Safe, nothing's in it. So, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now, all of these guns are empty, none of them's loaded. Um, and then the ones that do have safeties, the safeties on them. But uh, Springfield Hellcat, I actually just bought this gun, man, and it's, uh, I just wanted to see what they was talking about, man, to be honest with you. I just wanted to see what it was hitting for. Crazy enough, I actually fell in love with this gun. Um, this and uh, the next one I'm gonna show you. But uh, I just like the grip with the, uh, with the grip extension on it. So this gives you 13, yeah, 13 plus one. But uh, yeah, I just like the way it fills my hand. And I really stay away from uh, compact, like more CCW uh, guns like this. I'm probably, uh, I'll show y'all mine in a second. It's the Springfield. Go back and watch the last video, it's the Springfield. But um, these just make my hand fit. I got like big hands, bro, like super big hands. But um, I, I really, I don't know. I just like the way this, like it feels in my hand, so. Yeah, man, uh, Springfield Hellcat. It did come red dot ready. So it got the, uh, I forgot what that was called. It's the, it's the M something, MOS, MOS maybe? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And guess what? I got this gun for $375, $375. I got this out of a pawn shop. It's uh, It was used, of course, but uh, $375. Um, I think the reason why I got it so cheap, well, I got this for 375 plus a box of ammo, but it didn't come with a box um, or the extra magazine or anything like that. It just came as is. It was a little dirty, but cleaned it up. Springfield Hellcat. So the second one, can y'all guess what it is? The Glock 43X. Um, this is also loaded. I mean, <laughs> unloaded. As y'all can tell, nothing, nothing in there. Safe direction. But uh, I um, I really just bought this because after, well, I got I bought this for this is actually used to. Um, y'all be telling y'all which ones is used to, but I actually bought that one to compare it to the uh, Springfield. Hellcat, and um, I like it. I mean, the the grip actually is good on this one too. And this is how I like my hands fit on here. But um, yeah, I, I really like it actually. Uh, I haven't shot it yet. I haven't shot this or the Springfield Hellcat yet, but I plan on doing that. So y'all gonna see that footage. Uh, let me put this phone on. Sorry. But yeah, man, so y'all should be, uh, look forward to that footage, but, uh, got the front. Uh, oh, and actually, and I'll do, I'll compare two and two, but these, um, little fronts, I forgot what these things are called, too. Yo, don't tear me up in the comments. I'm still, you know what I'm saying, getting my footing in this gun world stuff. I forgot what these were called, but when you do the press checks, you know, safe direction. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I mean, this is, this is a pretty cool gun. I will say I prefer the Gen 5 without the finger grooves, um, how the Gen 5s are coming. But other than that, cool gun. I can't wait to shoot this one. So I'll be doing a comparison between this one and the Springfield Hellcat. So y'all be ready for that. Um, but I like the way this fits in my hand too. And it doesn't even have to have an extension. It just, it just fits, you know, so Glock 43X. So the next one, I guess since we on Glock. Cause in my first video, y'all was kinda on my butt cause I didn't have no Glocks in there. So I'm gonna put, I'm putting a couple in here. 
but Glock 19 Gen 4. Glock 19 Gen 4, what y'all think? This gun is empty. Nothing slide. But uh I like this gun. I mean everybody gotta have a gen for I mean well a 19 uh a Glock 19. Uh chambered or nine millimeter if you didn't know. And I mean I don't know, this gun is cool. I'm not a big fan of the trigger on this specific Glock. I heard the Gen 5 triggers are a little bit better. Um it just like it's really like kind of squishy. I'll go and hit this wall, and then I can still pull it back a little bit more. I'll show you again. That's the wall. And yeah, so, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a noticeable difference between these two, um, the 43 and the uh, and the 19. But uh, originally. I was gonna have this as my concealed carry. Um, I'm in Texas, so uh, we got constitutional carry out here. You don't need a, a concealed handgun license, but I strongly recommend everybody get one. And I actually need to go and redo the class and everything like that because I need to get mine again. So that's the plan for me uh, soon. Uh, I'll be vlogging that too, so y'all can see that that whole process. But uh, yeah, man, the Glock 19. I mean, it's. The Glock 19, I haven't done anything to it. Um, I plan on adding a light to it, but this is probably gonna be maybe concealed carry winter time, maybe summertime. I'll probably go back and forth between maybe the 43X, um, the Hellcat. And I want to look into the Glock, uh, I want to look into the Glock 45. It's kind of like the Glock 19X, but I don't like tan guns. I like it. You'll probably notice all my guns are black. I just like black guns. But, uh, I mean, black is like my favorite thing ever. So. Black phones, black guns, black furniture. I'm gonna show y'all my cat. Like, everything is like, I just like black. But, uh, yeah, so I, I wanna do the 43X and I've, I mean, not, not 43X, the Glock 45. So I think that's probably gonna be my next, um, my next purchase. After I get the other guns, I gotta lay away out. Uh, Glock 45 is just a 19 slot with a um, with a 17 grip, a Glock 17 grip, chamber to 9 millimeter. So, but Glock 19. Hope y'all like it. Everybody needs a Glock in well, Glock 19 in their collection. I'm still kind of debating on if I'm gonna trick this one out or not. I, I'm probably just gonna do, I'm, I'm more of an iron sight type of person. I got a red dot on one gun, well two guns, but um, I don't know, I just, I prefer irons. What y'all think? You know? Uh, Glock 19. So we moving up to full size uh, guns. So since we were talking about red dots, here is my Koenig. TP9 SFX. This is kind of like the competition, competition gun. So, as y'all can tell, nothing in here, same direction. Uh, I've heard a lot about Canics. A lot of people like these. This is a budget friendly gun. Um, <laughs> I got this one used too. Um, crazy enough, all the guns that you've seen, I bought all at the same uh, pawn shop. Uh, but, this one was a steal, and I'll tell you why. I bought this gun for, I think, 550. Now, this is a loophole red dot DP Pro. This is a $500 like red dot by itself, $400, $500 red dot by itself. Not to mention the gun. So. I got the gun and the red dot for five hundred and fifty dollars. You can't beat that. Um, so, yeah, I I heard a lot about Canix. The main thing I heard is a trigger, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Like this trigger is beastly. I love it. That's the wall. Crispy. Y'all see that? I'm gonna do it one more. Time.
That's the trick. There's only one other gun in my collection. Well, I got two of them. But uh, there's only one other gun in my collection whose trigger is messing with this one. And I'm gonna say it's messing with it. It's, it's just as good as this one. Um, and y'all should already know what that is. But yeah, man, Koenig, this holds 22? I think this holds 22 rounds. But this is a, a extended uh, mag. I got another one. So, but all this, this actually did come with a box. Came with uh, two mags and a, um, a holster. So that's what this one came with. I don't plan on putting a light on this one. I'm gonna just keep the red dot and just leave it at that. But Canic SFX. Oh, I'm sorry. Canic TP9 SFX. A Colt 1911 combat unit. Y'all see this right here? Got that light rail. Um, chambered in 45. Nothing's in it. So we empty. Um, I don't like dry firing my 1911s, but uh, oh dang, I gotta show y'all how the trigger works. But yeah, man, uh, this thing hadn't even been shot, and I got this one for I think I got this one for like a thousand dollars. Yeah, I got this for like a thousand dollars. When I looked it up, they were like going for this particular one with the rail on the Colt website goes for like $1,600. So I look at that as a steal, but it's tactical AF boy. And um, it has a different uh, spring mechanism in it um, to help with the recoil. So um, I haven't shot this one either, crazy enough. Um, so I'll be going to the range, putting some work in with this. Y'all will see that. But uh, great gun, man. I love the grip on here. It has like, it's like a lot of grip. Like it's, I can't explain it. It's like Velcro. Like it's like, it, it grips your hand, man. Um, this is the only gun I've, I can say that's messing with the Canning trigger. Um, I just want to show you. I got to show you the trigger. Let's check this out. All right, so. This is the wall, and it shoots. All right, I'm gonna show y'all one more time. Wall, wall right there, shoots. Uh, yeah, man, and this is straight out of the Colt box. So, um, yeah, I love this gun. Came with another magazine. But yeah, man, just a cool gun to have. You gotta, if you go, for me, if I go 1911, I'm definitely going with the Colt. Um, if y'all watch my other video, I got another one that's actually right here. Colt 1911 too. This is an older one though. Um, this is actually an Argentinian Colt 1911. Uh, as y'all can tell, it's like really no beaver tail. It's like hella dated. So, um, you know, Argentinian coat. I don't even know what that says, but can y'all read that? So, yep, this is a fun gun to shoot, but it always gives me a hammer bite. It always bites me back here, so I really don't shoot it like that. Um, and I planned on adding a beaver tail to it, but I don't want to mess up the value of this gun. Um, that's why I haven't reblued it or anything like that, so. But uh, this is just another coat. Ah, Cause I know what y'all really want to see. But we're gonna do this. This is a Charles Daly 12 gauge shotgun. Semi-automatic. Let's show y'all a little something about this gun. It's empty. Nothing's in it. Safe direction. Safety's on. And there we go. Um, this gun was just different, man. I've 
Yeah, I just seen it. And I just like, I ain't never seen one of those before. And I just like the idea of having a semi-automatic shotgun. Crazy enough, haven't shot this one either. This one, I bought this one new. Um, I did buy this from the same farm shop that I bought a lot of these from. But uh, this one was new when I had bought it. Uh, so I came with the box. I think an extra magazine. I gotta start doing unboxings because I believe just buying guns like crazy. Um, but yeah, Charles Daly um, 12 gauge shotgun um, set up as a bull pup. I'm gonna have a cheek riser on it, but I mean, I don't know who's around their face that close to this thing while you're racking it, but I mean, pretty cool gun. It's still kind of awkward trying to like reach around here and shoot, you know? So it's just like, it's just awkward. But outside of that, a uh, good gun. This is home defense. So um, nothing but bug shots coming out of this bad baby. I've been seeing some stuff online saying that with semi-automatic shotguns, you gotta have like um, like high velocity or I can't remember exactly, like basically like a high, a high output um, shotgun shells so everything will chamber correctly. So I'll be looking into that. But um, other than that, man, it's a pretty cool gun. No complaints. All right, so let's get to what y'all really want to see, what y'all really here to see. I don't want to make this video too long, even though I'm, damn, 18 minutes in. First things first. Ah. The Draco chambered in nine millimeter. Ah. Tell me empty. Nothing's in here. No. Nice direction. But uh, the Draco. I always wanted this. I bought this used. Um, I kind of got mixed feelings about this. The only reason why is I wanted a uh, 7.62, but. I was cool with this. I was cool with this being nine millimeter because I'm even cooler with it because this takes Glock mags, right? Glock magazines. So I was cool with this. Like I was, I was cool with this. The only thing I don't like is the way it looks. Like it doesn't give me AK vibes. Now I know that they do have um, one that's like slanted out a little bit, but it still looks ugly. So I'm thinking about actually doing um a drum mag on this i feel like it'll make it look a little bit better but one thing i do like about this is that it does take lock magazines and this magazine can fit in my Glock 19. so just like that and vice versa my glock 19 mag can fit here it really looks ugly but it works right so um yeah i uh i just don't like the way this looks uh that pause that don't look right but i just don't like the way the the, the stick looks uh coming from a draco you know but the reason why i do like it that it takes block mags is because i plan on having this as a truck gun Possibly, I'll probably put like a red dot on here, um, a brace, and, um, and just keep this as a truck gun or like a backpack gun. I just like the fact that it's interchangeable because if I'm carrying this, you know, if something, let's say something happens to the Glock, I can take that mag out and put it in here and do the exact same type of work that I can, you know what I'm saying, do with the Glock. Or vice versa, say something happens with this, I can drop this mag, slap it in here, and just keep it going from there. So that's that was just like one big benefit. So I'm, I'm not really tripping over it, but I would prefer a drum mag for this, to be completely honest. But we'll see what we come up with. But I'm gonna be, you know what I'm saying, putting stuff on here as I go. It'll probably look a little different in another month or so. Okay, and last, but certainly not least. Y'all know we had to do it the right way. 
Now this is a help up chambered in 7.62, AK pistol. This is considered a pistol. All right, nothing's in here. I can't forget to do that. Bought this brand new. Haven't shot it yet. Select direction. Haven't shot it yet. That's another thing too. That um, on the Draco, the uh, the trigger's a little different. Um, it's just like this is the typical AK trigger. That trigger is like a little different. But um, other than that, no no real complaints. Put this back on safety. What y'all think? I just man, I just I thought about that one. I was like, I need this one, so I really bought both these same day. <laughs> so. I mean, I can't wait to shoot it. Shoot, but like, what have y'all heard about hell pups? I mean, I done looked online. I found a few things, but nothing really just like, tell me if it's a good gun or not. But I mean, hey, that's the point of getting into the gun world. You're gonna have some good stuff. You're gonna have some bad stuff. So I'm looking forward to seeing what type of work I can put in with this one. So y'all be looking for um, a video on this. I might even do like a mag dump for you guys. Um, when we hit 50,000 subscribers, which should be either tonight or tomorrow. Y'all quit playing with me. But uh, pretty much I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Put a brace on here. Um, this one doesn't have a rail on top like that one does. So I might add an optic to it. Not sure. But I just like, I just like it like this, to be honest with you. Like, you know really put some work in but yeah man so uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what y'all think of the gun collection so what i've added well some of the guns i've added over the past year let me know what y'all think about them uh y'all gonna be seeing uh you know individual things on my channel about each one of these guns too uh maybe even putting some of them side by side but let me know what y'all want to see uh, go watch my 2021 gun collection video too so y'all can see some other ones. I only did like five guns on that one. But uh, yeah man, looking forward to making more content for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about the gun. Any of the guns, let me know what your favorite one is or if you got any of these or if you got any optics or um, uh, light suggestions. Cause I'm definitely putting a light on this, on the Hellcat. I'm definitely putting a light on the 19, and then I'm definitely putting a light on, but I think I know which one on the Colt 1911, but I think I know which light I'm gonna go with for the Colt 1911. I'm gonna probably do the, um, it's not old light, it's another one. It's like the X300 Surefire, X300 I wanna say. I think I'm gonna put that one on here because it's just, the way it lines up, it, it's just crazy, so. Uh, but yeah, guys, man, I appreciate you guys tuning into the channel. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Anything you guys want to see, let me know. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. But we're going to have some fun with these guns on this channel because I'll be having too much fun and not recording. So I'll see y'all later. Peace.